Yo, what is going on? It is the spark guy. And, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to do a sort of talking head video character overview of each of these characters. Oh, we got, we got Jinji, we got Sao Pi, and Zhang He. Um, I'm going to start with Jinji. And, obviously, this perspective is going to be from a, a style play perspective, so, yeah, uh, you know, take notes, and hopefully you can learn from this. I should also get out the way. This is unscripted, and also I am playing with 1.4 turbo uh, rather than what I would usually go for, which is 1.2. I done Zenkai boosted myself, so now like 1.2 feels too slow. But yeah, uh, so yeah, start off with Jinji. Her normals. Pretty fast, got some nice range, deceptively long range. Her charge moves, obviously, the, you could tell that the range on her charge moves are pretty good. I'll say they're even great. Um, yeah, there's that. And then also, her air normal. Again, deceptively long range, especially if you put uh, reach. 20 on her, uh, which is pretty important because some combo routes are a little easy if you, especially if you learn how to do instant air normals and charge, jump jump charges and stuff, and musos and all that. Uh, well, instant air muso doesn't really benefit her that much, but just learn how to instant air your attacks is pretty important, which is a clawing technique. I might add a video uh, or a clip of me like doing it. Uh, like like a hand cam type thing but uh yeah so there's that jump charge is pretty good in the fact that obviously she stays in the air and you can hit enemies which means you could do something like this Let me sw switch to jung hood switch back to her so the the combos are pretty endless and she's one of those characters that is really good when it comes to really extended combos and stuff uh what else her muso doesn't have as much range as in the roshi 3 in dynasty warriors 8 but i'd say it's good in the fact that it freezes enemies so if you want to initiate a combo with it it's pretty good in that with, with doing that some characters stay on the ground longer than others and she can sometimes true combo them uh, with it so and you'll have to learn all the characters uh i might in the future add a list of characters that stay on the ground longer than others so people can know how to approach some uh when uh learn how to approach fighting some officers uh because they might find mixed results and it could be a little frustrating not knowing what care what officers stay on the ground longer than others Again, I don't know why Koei added this thing to the game, but yeah. Alright, so her Air Muso, pretty good for initiating combos. It's supposed to hard splat, but again, Koei kind of mixed up the properties in this game when it comes to like hard knockdowns and stuff, so it's very, it can be very RNG sometimes. Uh, but it, it's pretty safe to, after it, just do like a, you know, maybe like a normal magic attack or charge magic attack. Or switch to another character and do a Dare Muso or something. Who knows? There's a lot of, a lot of options, combo-wise. But, um, obviously, double, don't double launch rule applies to her, so you yeah, charge two. Don't do that mini combo unless you can't cancel to the secret treasure or something else. Uh... Same thing with charge, uh, was it charge five? And, uh, her unique magic attack. Pretty nice, got good range. Pretty damn good damage, too, uh, when you build it right. Personally, when I play this game, I like to build for not much charge and normal attack damage, but when my, I do my musos or unique magic attacks, that's where, like, the bulk of the damage should come from, because... You want to get the sort of guaranteed finisher uh, with the with those attacks. So yeah, in conclusion, 
Jinji, solid character. Technique characters are not as bad as people say. Uh, especially if you learn how to uh, dash cancel. It's something I call, uh, call dash canceling. And it's basically like, this was in Orochi 3 as well. But basically, you attack, you dash, and you're able to switch to the, the next character fast. Like, uh, without them doing an attack. Which is pretty important if you want to be precise. Uh, more so benefits people that don't like to use lock-on. I don't use lock-on. Uh, it's very disorienting for me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so the non-lock-on Andes can find a lot of benefit out of uh, dash canceling. So again, I'm going to show it again here. Notice how whenever I do it and I dash, I'm I, I can immediately switch to South E and he doesn't attack. Again, that's pretty huge. That's like one that's like one frame recovery, right? Like or zero frames, I should say. It gives you enough time to plan out what you want to do while the enemy is juggled. Because you're like in a you know a neutral state. So yeah. Underrated tech. Definitely use that dash canceling. Dash and then switch characters. Mid mid dash animation to get that to come out. So that's Gen G. All right, so now we have Sal P. And Sal P is pretty damn good in this game, I'd say, because a lot of the characters that have a lot of freeze attacks built into their kit uh, can now freeze enemies midair, which means that's more room for setup and, you know, freestyling and whatnot. Uh... What else? His attacks have all right range. I would say they're like av it's like average range. Uh, you definitely want to max out range on this or reach. It's called in this game. You want to max that out completely because it seems like it feels like some combos are pretty inconsistent if you don't uh, uh, get it. So definitely, that's like priority number two. Obviously, first max out. Agility, you want to attack as fast as possible, lowers recovery frames, and then you want to uh, go into reach. And then damage comes. Uh, for me, when I build characters, damage comes last. I really don't care about damage that much. Also, I should mention uh, when building character, you definitely want to max out. Uh, I maxed out his damage by mistake but you don't want to do that when you build your character max out their defense and health and speed but don't touch attack that's at least for me personally but uh yeah his his attacks are pretty fast too but it's just that like you definitely want to master instant air normals I'd, I'd say it's almost required if you want to go into each attack seam seamlessly without canceling to sacred treasure all the time uh, don't double launch rules applies to him as well. As cool as charge five looks, uh, it's, a, it's not a true combo. You want to initiate with that? Maybe get the double freeze combo with his uh his charge one. Also, his jump charge pretty good for combos. Because like I said, it characters like you know Genji and. And, and him, they get a lot of benefit, a lot of mileage out of uh, it. And again, your imagination is truly the limit when it comes to uh, these combos. So let's say if you have a character like uh, Yoanji on your team, uh, you could do this, switch to her, do her charge magic attack, maybe go back to, uh, or maybe go to a character that has rejuggle, so maybe Jotai with his Muso. You could, you could like switch to his like to him do an air muso again just let your imagination run wild when playing this game uh this game <laughs> is honestly it's it's a character action game and it's a character action game without the style meter uh but yeah back to south p his uh his regular muso is good in that the fact that it uh freezes uh, even midair, like I said before, so 
feel free to add into your combos at any point in the combo, honestly, if you want, when you want, because it has that good of range, I'd say, as far as consistency. Uh, Air Musou, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it hard splats on standing enemies. Let me see. Yeah, hard splash them. So, uh, yeah. Gotta utilize that to initiate combos when you want. Maybe, like, do something like this, where you do the air muso. Maybe go into, like, charge magic attack or something like that for follow up. So, yeah. Uh. I think that's pretty much it. In conclusion, Sao P, whilst he struggles in sort of combo consistency, uh, as far as like uh, linking everything into each other, uh, you can sort of alleviate that issue with is there normal, in or just switch into another character. But I honestly don't like the constant suction mechanic kicking in. It can like get in the way of combos for me because again I don't use lock on. And you can't keep track of the officers. There's a lot of like enemy clutter on the screen. So, uh, not an issue if you use Lockwood, but something to take note of. Oh, I forgot to cover his unique magic attack. So, yeah, it's, you know, similar to Sao Sao's, Genji's, but, you know, it's pretty good for what it does. In conclusion, uh, yeah, he's, he's a solid character. Alright, so now, and lastly, we have Jung He. Jung He, need, need I uh, explain? This dude is really good. Uh, I believe his. Uh, yeah, this true combos, his charge 3 EX true, uh, true combos. And so you can switch to other characters, you know, and, and just freestyle afterwards. Is it puts you in the air? Uh. You know, most Dynasty Warriors characters normals behave the same, and they're usually really good. Not really good, but like, you know, just good. Uh, um, what else? Obviously, Charge 4 causes knockback. Charge 5 follows the don't double launch rule, so that doesn't true combo. So while some of it can hit, you can like maybe cancel to like a Sacred Treasure or something. Um... Charge 5 is nice. Or, sorry, Charge 6. And, uh, yeah, he's just a solid character, I'd say. Um, definitely, I would say, honestly, if you want to get into combo and stuff, just add him to your team comp. He, he, he actually helps you a lot in learning sort of the properties of moves as far as, like, this one taking you into the air. And then, obviously, you can air, you know, air combo afterwards. And then maybe you can work on that, like, Go to this, do some air normals, and switch characters, and then really just get attuned like with uh, air combos in this game because it's very Strike Force esque in that you can stay in the air for a pretty long time, actually infinitely if you want. But you want to add variety to your combos, so maybe you play as um, Yuanji, and maybe you go into you know this, do some. Um, air normals and then you switch to her her and then do it like her um charged magic attack in the air so there's a lot of like synergistic things that you could uh you know add to your team comp to add more variety and honestly get those those uh crispy dopamine hits uh for doing long stylistic juggles so um all right what else i think his Air Muso, what does it do again? I forget if it hard splats. I'm not, I don't remember. Yeah, it does. But it probably does that for certain characters. Uh, his, uh, does his regular Muso does that too? It does. Interesting. So yeah, Jung Hood, solid character, man. Like, you got hard splats built in. Obviously, I think the characters need to be grounded first, but I mean, that's a nice way to start off combos. Uh, his 
unique magic attack is it's all right. Damage is not the best, but I don't know. It's a nice little little thing to add to combos because the range is is pretty good. So, in conclusion, I'll say um, yeah, all three of these characters honestly they work well t together. Uh, they're all way characters, so like if you want to do sort of a the characters knowing each other type of deal. Um, you could do that. And these characters work perfectly fine. I'm actually going to do a combo here. Just to show that... Just to show off some things, so... like And like I said, let your imagination run free. I don't know why I'm not getting any audio. And he's a character that stays on the ground for long, so that's a true combo. So, yeah, like, there's there's a lot of stuff that you can do that can, um, I don't know, help you on your combo journey. Uh, I do have my live streams up, so you can go through those if you want to learn some things. But honestly, the quality of those are pretty bad, so I don't blame you if you don't want to watch those. But, in conclusion, I do plan on doing more videos like this. As there is a lot of ideas I have bouncing around, but I don't usually uh, do them because I'm usually booked and busy. But yeah, thanks for watching.